Hai hai kiddos Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome to Retail Challenge of Mutiara English Fest 2022 Schedule of Competition The opening of Mutiara English Fest 2022 will be held on mean December 2022 For preliminary 1 session 1 will be held on 5th until 6th January 2023 Preliminary 1 Session 2 will be held on 13th January 2023 For preliminary 2 will be held on 19th January 2023 For the semi-final round will be held on 26th January 2023 for the final round will be held on 28 January 2023. And the last event is Kebiar of Mutiara English Fest of 2022 will be held on 4th February 2023. Hello fellas, How are you today? Alhamdulillah, always better and better. We are beyond proud of you all have come so far. So, prepare yourself by reading the book, telling the content of the book, and preparing to answer the question from the judges. What are the rules? Let's check it out. The first one is read aloud, and the second one is retelling about the book that have you read before. So I give you two minutes to explain it. And the last, you need to answer two questions from Ustaza in two minutes. Okay, thank you Ustaza for the time. The social butterfly. Charlotte loves being with her friends. She loves playing jobs with Lily, dress up with Eka, house with Ben, and dress with Max. And Charlotte is quite good at making new friends too. She made friends at the store, at the library, and at school. Charlotte loves school. She loves learning, and she loves being with her friends. But sometimes, she tries to do both at the same time. During morning meeting, she kind of listened to Miss Flora, but she mostly whispered with her friends. At reading time, Charlotte finished her book. She wanted to talk with Eta, but when she was talking, Eta couldn't read. Then it was math time. Charlotte was one of the first to finish the worksheet. She wanted to sing with Max, but when she was singing, Max couldn't focus on Eddie. Charlotte sat next to Lily during math. She waited until Lily finished the worksheet before she told her a job. She ate lunch next to bed. They talked a little, but they finished all of their food. And when it was time to go outside, Charlotte was ready to run, fall, see, and play. And so were her friends. This book tells about a brilliant girl. Her name is Charlotte. Charlotte is an extrovert girl. It means that she loves to interact with other people. Charlotte is also known as the social butterfly. She loves socializing with other people. At school, Charlotte loves doing many activities. She loves playing dolls, she loves playing house, dress up, and also track with her friends. And she also loves learning, running, and singing. Wow, she loves many activities. But one thing she loves the most is doing all of those activities with her friends. And she has many friends. Their names are Ben, Lily, Max, and Eta. And because of her personality, Charlotte didn't realize that she disrupts her friends while they are doing activities. And this means all of her friends stop talking to her. Okay, good job, Elfia. The time is up. Alfia, now it's time for you to do the puppet show. Here, Ustazah have several puppet. You can choose one, and then you can tell to us about the puppet. I choose this Ustazah. Okay, great. Now it's time for you to tell in the puppet. So that will give you time to me. Okay. Puppet. 
show about the girl who swept the floor. Why I choose this puppet? Because this puppet also describes about my hobbies. My hobbies is cleaning up. I like cleaning up everything. For me, I always clean up my bed, such as tidy up my pillow, my bolster, my blanket, my toys, and my desk. I always help my friend and my teacher to clean up the class, such as sweeping the floor and then tidy up the reading book in the corner. And here is the whiteboard. My hobby. Thank you, Mr. Zara, for the time. With your help, yeah. Thank you for your explanation. Now you need to answer our Ustazah's question here. Ustazah have to patient and you need to answer in two minutes. Are you ready, Kak? Yes, I'm ready, Ustazah. Okay, for the first question, uh, what will happen if we don't like to clean up? Explain briefly. If we don't like to clean up, there will be many germs and many bacteria. If we don't clean up our mess, we'll attract the dirty animals such as rats, cockroaches, and flies. The most dangerous part is it can cause the disease. Yeah, the second question is, what is the correlation between your hobby and the book that you have read before? Well, my hobby is related to the book because Charlotte always tidy up her toys after she played with her friend. And so do I. And I also tidy up my toys after I play with my friends. Excellent, Alfia. Good job. Thank you for doing, Alfia. See you on the final round. So, are you ready, kiddos? Prepare yourself and see you.